Hey everyone, so in this episode we're gonna set up our project. Press Ctrl Shift N. Select a new .NET Core solution. And the solution name, let's call it Shop. And the name for our application, we're gonna call it shop.ui. Okay. And make this into a web application with no authentication. We're gonna add that on as we go along. So we get a sample project with the default pages template, right? So what we want to do now, let's collapse this one. And let's make another project. And instead of the ASP.NET Core web application, we want to select class library .NET Core. We want to give it a name of shop dot domain. Press OK. The shop dot domain project is going to be responsible for calling all our models for our application. And then these models are going to be used to store information in our database and to display the, the information onto our UI. And now we want to create another project and again this is going to be a class library .NET Core and we're going to call it shop.application press ok so shop.application is going to be responsible for handling uh, our domain so that means it's going to be creating uh, things such as products, storing them in the database, and uh, it's basically a pipeline between the domain, UI, and the database. To give you an example of how it will look, let's go into our domain, create a new for folder called models. And in the models, let's create product.cs. All right, so right now we have a our domain, and our domain is basically responsible for one product. And this product may have some properties, but not now. Let's actually get rid of this class one here. Okay, and and in our application, let's make a folder, and we'll call it products right and in this products folder we basically want to get products.cs we want to do create product.cs let's copy this one and basically say get product.cs and Let's just go ahead and make uh, the delete and another one. We'll call it update. All right. So we can create a product, delete a product, get product, get products, and update products. So in this application layer, all it's gonna do is handle all of our models in our domain between the database and the UI layer. So you can think of the application layer as an API or how we would do it in the blog series, a repository for our database. But this uses this uh, single responsibility pattern. So this class is going to be responsible only for one thing, and that is creating products. This class is going to be responsible for another thing, and that's deleting products. This is going to help our test our code and uh, making the project a little bit bulky, but a lot easier to maintain. This will be it for this episode. If you enjoy it, subscribe, like. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. In the next episode, we're going to go ahead and start implementing some of the functionality and connecting all the parts of the application.